I'm really excited about the Skylights 2013-2014 season, my first season with the company. When I was asked to become the artistic director of the Skylight Music Theater, it was a really interesting opportunity for me because it's the only theater I know of in the country that performs every kind of musical theater, from opera to musical theater to operetta. And when you have that kind of strength, I thought it would be really interesting to find a way to, to take each of these types of shows and talk about one aspect of our own humanity. We as performers don't perform musical theater or opera because we just like performing. Um, that's one part of the uh, part of it, but the other side of it is that each of these shows represents some aspect of our greater humanity. And so the very first season we decided to go out, go and talk about revolution. Um, and every show in the season is going to cover an aspect of revolution because we feel that it's a really important aspect of humanity. I mean, if we think back to 1776 and America's revolution and search for freedom, we could go to India and their search for freedom under the British Raj. And so we, we thought that given the events like the Arab Spring recently and so on, that it was, would be a great, great way of approaching our season. The very first show in the 2013-14 season is Beethoven's Fidelio. I couldn't be more excited about the way we're approaching this show um, because we're setting it in India and choreographing it as if it were a Bollywood film. Um, while that sounds like a really odd idea for Beethoven, I think it's going to be a really incredible way of approaching the production. Um, the artistic inspiration for the show is Raghava KK. Um, I met Raghava a year ago, actually, and he is probably India's most important painter and artist. Um, and he's also famous for having done four TED Talks internationally. Um, and so to have someone of his level as the inspiration for the scenery, for the design of the show, was just such a huge opportunity. Um, we're also going to have Deepa Devasena, who is a choreographer from Milwaukee. So we have a local um, Bollywood choreographer who's going to be doing the scene, dance scenes for us. Um, and I'll be directing and conducting. The show is really an important one to me because I, I, it was one of the first operas I ever saw. And I think the ideals that Beethoven embodied were were so utterly fitting to a discussion of revolution. Um, it begins with Florestan, who's imprisoned um, basically because he was exposing Don Pizarro's corruption. Um, so we have a political prisoner falsely imprisoned, um, he's been missing for two years, and the love of his life, his wife Leonora, disguises herself as a prison guard um, and takes employment at the prison in the hopes of finding Florestan and breaking him out. So not only do we talk about revolution, but we have the ultimate redemption of Florestan through love. And um, for me, that's such an incredible message, um, both this idea that we yearn for freedom as people, but also the, uh, the final redemption that we find is through love. Um, and with the incredible artistic team we have coming together on this, it's going to be a very interesting Bollywood Beethoven. Uh, hi, I'm Raghava, and I'm an artist, and I try and reinvent myself every couple of years. And the way I do that is I try and go outside my comfort zone, and try and learn from a different art form, like food, for example. I worked with a famous chef to try and create a kinesthetic language between art and taste. And similarly, I've done that with music, with, uh, with, with dance, and now with opera. Firstly, I love the story of Fidelio. I think it's really interesting because it, it's, it's about... I love the tension it creates. And um, I think it is, this, as Vishwa said, it is the drama that, and the tension between... And uh, there, there is um, there's guy, there's disguise, there's, there's um, deceit, there's anger, there's frustration, there's isolation, there's... Um, it's got everything that uh, a good drama has. But unfortunately, it's not as accessible to people my age. So what would be... Uh, I was excited that I could actually be a part of something that makes it a little more accessible through the Bollywood nature. And every rendition of Fidelio I've seen um, and I've looked up um, remains dark, grey tones, and pretty monotonous. In I shouldn't I get, probably get into trouble saying that, but, um, but but you know what I mean. It's been extremely uh, dark. And I think that Fidelio really has a spectrum that's underexplored. 
it has this range of emotions, it makes you happy, sad, and all at the same time. So that's really what we're trying to achieve in a new way. The complexity of human behavior is exhibited in an emotions. And I think we are at, in a time when we, we flatten things out. We flatten information, knowledge, and we want things really quickly given to us. And I think uh, when you look at Beethoven's Fidelio, it's extremely complex. And, and I feel it's really exciting. I think it's important to understand human nature through complexity. And um, we don't find contemporary work to really reflect the kind of uh, complexity that Beethoven so successfully, even the overture for me is just so, you know, the, the pump pump <laughs> is just so exciting. So I think that um, you, it's important because we need to access it. We need to have understand human behavior in its complexity. My vision for, for the scenes of Fidelio uh, is firstly to introduce a lot of color and a lot of um, I imagine this to be like a pop-up book where things are flat but they come to life through the actors, through color and, and, and they're layered just like this, the music is. It's full of layers and um, you can see through the layers and there's a sadness that's always lingering in the set. So my, the way I see the set happening is it's fantastical. It is, it's a fantasy sp a world. It is, it's Dr. Seuss meets Bollywood. It's it's a pop-up book. It's accessible. It's disarming, and I think it's really important to disarm the audience before you give them something as complex as Fidelio. There are moments where it's extremely powerful. I think comic pathos is really powerful, as opposed to just pathos or just comedy. It's somewhere in between. And what it also does is it allows um, the audience not to take themselves too seriously. And I think that's a, something we've left out in, in opera. And I think this is really exciting. It will bring in the comfort, that the lightheartedness, because it's an extremely uh, intense opera. You need to break it with some. So that's what I'm hoping. That, that my sets can do, that it'll, it'll have those elements of relief, of association, of comic pathos, of symbolism. Um, so I've created uh, characters, animal characters, that represent the characters in Fidelio. And, uh, and there is this storytelling that's going parallel to Beethoven's Fidelio, and that's going to be shown just by light and symbols. So for example, when we're referencing Floristan, uh, we keep showing this image of the, the tiger, and the tiger flashes, and eventually over the first two acts, you start associating a symbol with a character. Even if he's not present, he's omnipresent. And so we have this parallel storytelling we're hoping to achieve through light, and, and uh, through visuals. The other thing that's really exciting for me is we're really excited to introduce some technology in, in Fidelio because I think this, this new form of storytelling um, it makes a new form of storytelling possible. So there is a, a form of technology where the moment is captured and presented in a really exciting way. I don't want to give away the the fun parts, but it's not in your face. This is not about the technology. The technology plays a role in the storytelling. And I think it augments the experience of, of Fidelio, which you're so familiar with. Uh, and it could be really exciting. As an artist, for me, the role of the spectator has changed in my work. And I'm I'm really excited to see how I can, I can make Fidelio a little more interactive. Interactive where the sets and the characters are not separated. They really inform each other. 
in the form of storytelling, in the form of technology, in different ways you will find that, um, that this, the characters and the sets and the music all really um, interact with each other to tell stories in multiple levels.